Conor McGregor, you'll do fucking none, beats Canelo Alvarez and Anthony Joshua on this year's Forbes list. Stay tuned. Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and the greatest when it comes to boxing. Talk about some fighting, whatever else I want to talk about. So stay tuned, man. Now, I haven't heard one person really talk about this, so leave it to the kid Ego to talk it up. I know you guys like numbers, so let's talk about it. Now, the Forbes, they released their, their highest paid athletes list, and Conor McGregor beat out Canelo Alvarez, I was born ready, and Anthony Joshua on that list, right? He wasn't the highest paid. There were people who topped him, like Cristiano Ronaldo, he was atop of the sports list with, again, he's always up there. Um, I think Mayweather and Pacquiao, when they had their fight, they beat him. But he was still in at number three, I think, that year. But Ronaldo made $93 million. <laughs> Crazy what the soccer stars are getting. And that's a $58 million salary plus $35 million on the back end in endorsements. LeBron James. LeBron James. LeBron James. He's also on the list ahead of Conor McGregor. He was number two with $86.2 million total. 31.2 from a salary, 55 million in endorsements. You got to listen to this. This is crazy too. This dude, whatever he gets from the NBA, and obviously he's, he's the best person in the league. That's what people are saying, right? And he makes almost double what he makes in in the nba with his salary for the team almost double because 31.2 will round down to 30 30 times 2 that's 60 million you know what i mean and he's making 55 million in endorsements just for being a face of basketball and you're making more money just for sponsorships and nike and stuff that's crazy and you got to give it Floyd Mayweather props too and credit because Floyd Mayweather he's he's been on this list too with minimal endorsements you know what I mean like people aren't really like I, I don't remember him having like deals with like like Nike or Hennessy and stuff like that so he was making his money straight from live gates and pay-per-view buys and all that but anyway focusing on this list Conor McGregor beat out Canelo Alvarez and he beat his previous best which was like 22 million dollars he had last year and he has a reported 34 million dollars this year which gives him uh, a number 24 spot and he fought three times in 2016 the Eddie Alvarez fight was the most recent and he was averaging about nine million dollars per fight so that's that's what it is Canelo Alvarez he was number 43 with $28.5 million, $27 million from fights, and $1.5 million from endorsements. So you see, like, a lot of the boxers aren't getting mega endorsement deals, right? But for whatever reason, uh, other people are. Like, you know I me, mean? soccer stars, basketball stars, Conor McGregor even. He's making some good money from the endorsements. I don't know exactly how it works because the UFC had the Reebok strike, so I don't know. Maybe it's, he was in the Call of Duty game. I know he's he joined the Beats by Dre family, and also Anheuser Busch endorse him now. Canelo, he's with I don't know all of his, but Hennessy is one of them. I just made a video about his recent Hennessy commercial, and Anthony Joshua and Canelo, they're both part of Under Armour, the Under Armour family, so. And actually, they're both part of, well, actually, Conor McGregor's part of the Beats family. Joshua's part of the Beats family. And Canelo and Joshua are part of the Under Armour family, along with Gervonta Tank Davis. Joshua, he made $22 million, 18.5 million from fighting, and 3.5 million in those extra endorsements. So, all these guys are doing well. You know what I mean? I don't know exactly the criteria, how, how, 
Forbes list estimates these salaries because some people would be like, man, Canelo, how did he make that much from from fighting? You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know how they figure out the actual cuts and, and pay-per-view buys times how much the person gets because not all the information is fully disclosed to the public. But according to the Forbes list, that's where everybody is at. And it lends more credence to Mayweather versus McGregor. Canelo, a guy Floyd already fought and beat, and Joshua, a rising heavyweight with two belts, they're several spots below Conor McGregor when it comes to the most recent Forbes list athlete of the year. So once again, Floyd is not on the, on the list because he's been retired for two years. So he's making money doing club tours and promotions and stuff like that. But probably not enough to rival these dudes i don't know they didn't they didn't mention i didn't see anything about floyd but again like i told you if you don't like the conor mcgregor floyd fight if it does happen simply don't watch it but it's apparent there's money there i mean conor mcgregor is beating canelo he's beating joshua the numbers don't lie you know what i'm saying and you can trace back a good portion of his money you look at his pay-per-view buys he's doing like a million plus we know he's he's been they wanted him on Game of Thrones, the TV show, while that was on. He's in the Call of Duty game. Again, I made a video about it. He joined the Beats by Dre family. So there's money behind Connor. People are really liking him and resonating with him. And he brings traffic. He brings money. So whether you like it or not, money is, is gonna be the number one motive. So I definitely see the fight having a strong likelihood of happening for that reason. And like I said, if you're gonna discount it and say it's horrible and it ruins boxing then talk about Kodo Kamagai talk about Pacquiao Jeff Horn because those are title fights and they don't really do much good for boxing like if Kodo beats Kamagai can you say he's the best of 54 can he beat Demetrius Andre can he beat Jermail Charlo at this point we don't know you know what I'm saying same thing Pacquiao Horn can Pacquiao let's say he knocks out Jeff Horn can he knock out Errol Spence Keith Thurman Danny Garcia even, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't really do anything. Plus, those fights make a lot less money than Mayweather McGregor, point blank, period. But shout out to McGregor for moving up. And I mean, he's, he's a salesman. He's a mouthpiece. And he, he's been doing his thing. If he's climbing up and improving from last year, where he had a reported $27 million to $34 million, you know what I mean? Or oh, actually he had $22 million. So he came up, you know what I mean? And this is back to back years. And this is with the UFC being his boss and taking whatever cut that they... That's why Floyd's smart about be your own businessman because if he's still getting a reported $34 million with endorsements and fights, imagine if he was his own boss and, and the UFC wasn't getting as big of a slice of the pie as they're getting. You know what I mean? He would be, really be up there. He'd probably be closer to the, the number three spot, you know what I'm saying? Or something of that sort. But those are the numbers. Let me know what you guys think. Drop it in the comment section. Make sure you share the video. Like the video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing. Peace.